Fairfax News Storm Team. Welcome back, everybody. We've been watching the radar here because there has been a little bit of light snow in the area. Of course, the winds have been strong as well. It may be the big story, but you put the combination of some snow and the winds and it's a lot of snow that really has encrusted over. It's still blowing around. You're getting a lot of blowing snow issues, reduced visibility, and uh, we've been watching this carefully. We'll take a look at uh, Minot right now. Let's see what's going on here up towards the Magic City, and uh, you can see visibility not looking the best out there. The roads here in the city looking okay, but I imagine some of the conditions just outside of town aren't the greatest at the moment. Let's look at Bismarck as well. Now we did have a little bit of sun peeking through the clouds in the capital city earlier, uh, but we've also been looking at a few uh, areas of, of snow showers rolling on through and this is not going to uh, want to play nice at the moment here. But uh, here in the capital city again, we haven't had as much issue with the blowing snow as some of our uh, folks up towards the north. And if you look at the road map here. You see the red up here, Divide County, Burke County. There are no travel advise, uh, no travel advise advisories going on across the northwest right now. And in fact, the number of uh, accidents, snow covered roads with the yellow up towards the Minot area, back off towards Rugby and Harvey. And then you look towards the south here, and these roads are green, indicating that the roads are generally good. So we're finding most of our problems. That's the bottom line finding most of our problems on the roads right now back off towards the north and especially back off towards the northwest. Dickinson reporting cloudy skies and temperature of 16 degrees. We have winds out of the northwest currently at 23 miles per hour. Temperatures, uh, they're cold and they're falling. Single digits now for uh, Stanley and Crosby. 10 holding on to double digits for Rugby and Harvey. 13 in Medina. 14, that's it in Bowman. 17 in Hedinger. Bismarck at 19 degrees, one of the warm spots currently. And the winds, there they are, out of the northwest, sustained. 10 uh, sustained 15, 20, 25 miles per hour. In fact, some of our lowest sustained winds are still at 17 miles per hour right now. And our wind gusts are high too. 41 mile per hour wind gusts in Garrison, 40 mile per hour wind gusts in Hedinger. You could see why the snow has been blowing around out there and reducing visibilities. Wind chills well below zero across our northern counties, below zero as well for our western counties. So where the snow does continue to blow, that is where the winter weather advisory has now been expanded. That does include Minot, includes rugby, uh, parts of the Air Force Base there down towards Harvey and we in fact have a wind chill advisory across extreme northeastern Montana. I would not be surprised to see this extend further east. More on that coming up in just a little bit. So here we go. Let's go ahead and time this out for you. Area of low pressure off towards our northeast. That's why we're seeing, seeing these winds spin out of the northwest and bringing in that cold air. Now by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, skies will clear a little bit. We'll still have the breeze, but Arctic high pressure kind of builds on in. Now tomorrow afternoon, you see again, we have this wind out of the northwest. Maybe a few more snow showers, particularly across our northwestern counties. Thursday morning, the apex of the cold air sits right on top. It'll be a really cold start to your Thursday morning. And then guess what? Another reinforcing shot of cold air moving on in Thursday night with strong winds and maybe some more blowing snow. That clears out. And again, Friday is going to be another cold day with those winds. Now looking at frostbite times here, frostbite will, or excuse me, uh, wind chills below zero will give us frostbite in a matter of minutes. Uh, looking at wind chills down to the teens and 20s below zero tomorrow morning. By Thursday morning, wind chills could be getting again near 30 below zero up towards the Botno area. That'll give you wind chill. I give you wind chill. That'll give you frostbite in less than 30 minutes. Lows tonight, temperatures dropping down the single digits above and below zero. Highs tomorrow. Well, we're warming back up to the single digits and teens above zero. It's going to be cold. Uh, looking at Dickinson, your temperatures in the teens tomorrow, and then warming up into the 20s on Thursday, but then right back down behind that next cold front there on Friday. Looking at Williston, your temperatures will be kind of up and down, up tomorrow, or down tomorrow, I'm sorry, then up on Thursday, and then down on Friday. I can't get my words or my days straight right now. Mine out your seven day forecast, single digits, warming up in the Thursday, then cooling off on Friday. Let's look at Bismarck here. Temperatures in the teens. We have a slight chance for a few snow showers tomorrow. And then that next front rolls on in to uh, Thursday night, making for a cold start Friday, but much warmer coming in this weekend, guys. Yeah, it's tough to know which direction uh, the temperatures are going these uh, days. Yeah. Whether they're up, down, all around. I'm all confused. <laughs>